I just talked to my counselor and I have to decide on a major. I don't even know where to start. Well, don't worry, you're not alone. It may seem like everyone else has a plan, but actually more than 60% of students are undecided on a major when they enter college. And even those who do declare wind up changing their minds. Oh, that makes me feel a little better, but I have to make a decision soon. There are so many options. Don't worry, I've been in your shoes. When I was having trouble choosing a major, I took some workshops and talked to someone in the Career Development Center. They gave me some great information to help me make a decision. Well, I'm great. You can make my decisions for me. <laughs> well, it doesn't quite work that way. You have to make that decision for yourself. And to do that, you first need to know who you are. Who I am? Yes, you need to know your VIPs. Um, your values, interests, personality, skills, and strengths. The more you know about yourself, the better career decision you're going to make. Okay, well, I thought I knew myself, but how can I find out more? The JCCC Career Development Center has many resources to help. You could take a choices workshop or a strengths workshop. You could also meet with a career counselor or take some career assessments. That sounds like a great idea. It's kind of nerve-wracking to be undecided. Most of my friends and peers seemed like they knew what they wanted to do and which college to go to and everything. Had their whole life planned out, but I wasn't sure and I wanted to do the right thing so that I wouldn't waste time or money. I'm glad that I attended the workshop because it has helped me to learn what my strengths are and how I can use those strengths uh, for my education and just life in general. I was not completely certain on where I wanted to go with my, my major or my career after college. But after the workshop, I felt super confident in what I chose. I'm gonna go for aerospace engineering. Going through uh, both the workshops, it just became clear that that's where I'm gonna wanna go and that's where I'm gonna be happiest. Meeting with the counselor was awesome. I walked into the counselor's office and they picked up that I had been to the Choices and the Strengths workshop. The workshops, gave me a direction and they saw that I, I knew pretty much everything I needed to know at that point and all he had to do was sign me up for my classes. At Johnson County Community College, they make you see a counselor. He asked me questions, what would I like to do? What can I see myself doing for the next 20 years? I told him that um, I loved coaching and I loved being around kids and just making a difference. And so he, was, and he basically said, I see that um, being a teacher may, may be good for you. Just Sitting down and not going through the motions, um, giving it to me straight, a, a real conversation and just a real person. A big aspect of coming into being the person that you are is being sure of yourself. And before you're sure of yourself, you, you feel kind of lost, you feel kind of uh, wayward. And it's, it's really just a, a reassurance test. These things you already have, you already know, and it's just about accepting what you know is true within yourself and then applying that to your passions. Hey, thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. What are you doing? I'm reading this handout on what to do with a major in computer science, but I need to do more research on college majors and occupations and learn more about the job market. I use Donut Online to help research some occupations in psychology what different types of psychology jobs there are, what you do in each of them, and even how much you can make. Are you majoring in psychology? Yes. My interest pointed to working with people, and when I got my personality report, one of the career suggestions was a psychologist. And that also fit with one of my top values, helping others. So I took a psychology class and I loved it. I really like computers and love my computer science class, but I'm just not sure what I could do with that. Well, this is a good start, but you should always be looking for help and information anywhere you can. Well, I'm definitely feeling less stressed about making a decision. You have to take everything that people have given you, my professors, my parents, my peers, 
the Career Development Center helped me out a lot. Then it, it was ultimately up to me at that point to take all of what I've learned from all those people. I did a little bit of job shadowing, either shadowing med students and how medical school was going to go fit and um, how much time it required. And then I shadowed doctors. I looked into nursing and dentistry and then pharmacy. And when a pharmacist came in and described his day life, I was really fascinated. And so I continued to job shadow different various pharmacists. Since then, I've just kept up with the relationships and liked it since. If you're undecided, then taking the workshops is its free and it's easy and you meet with a lot of people that are in the same boat so you can talk with them and it helps you a lot just to find out more about yourself and what is best for you. It's okay to be worried but you're not behind by any means. You do have to pick eventually as you develop yourself, as you grow. You, your interests change, but there's some standard ways within yourself that are always kind of cemented with your personality type, how you go about things, get involved, check out things on campus. Just keep trying, just little steps at a time and you'll get there. I knew about myself, but I wasn't ready to believe. You're gonna use this as um, an opportunity just like anything else and you can't go into it expecting to get something for nothing. So when you go into it and you're honest about it and you're honest with yourself about it, you may have the opportunity to really see yourself in a way that you weren't ready to see yourself before. So did you ever decide on a major? Yes, I decided in computer science. I feel so good about my decision. <laughs> well, good. I've still got some things I need to look into. I'm not sure what type of psychologist I'd like to be, so the Career Development Center suggested that I do some informational interviews with someone in the field. Hey, were you guys just talking about choosing a major? Yeah. Do you know what you're majoring in? No, and I'm starting to panic. I'm so afraid I'm going to make the wrong decision. Well, don't freak out. I know exactly what it feels like. Yes, it's very common. I know it can seem overwhelming, but you'll make your best decision once you've gathered as much information as possible. Yeah, and you want to choose something that you're going to love, that fits your values, interests, personalities, skills, and strengths. How do I do that? Well, start with the Career Development Center. Take some workshops or talk to a career counselor. They'll help you make major decisions without major stress. That sounds perfect. What are you what are you majoring in? Um, I'm majoring in computer science. Really? Yeah.